Good morning, everyone. Ooh, do I look tired? I got ready fast this morning because I woke up about 30 minutes late, 7.15. Um, we're pretty much on schedule. I wanted to be out of here by seven. Um, I'm headed now to Grand Teton National Park area. I'm uh, stayed here, well, as you can see, here's my van. I stayed here in Jackson Hole for the last two nights and it's time to go. I got my errands done, videos uploaded, and it's time to have some fun. So we are headed out to Grand Teton National Park and to Yellowstone. So um, it's gonna be a long day of driving. Um, not really so much driving as it is, you know, stopping to see things and then also driving a little bit too along the way. Sorry if I'm not so upbeat this morning. I'm trying, I'm still having my coffee. But we are getting on the road now and gas is filled up. Everything is ready to go. Tanks, ooh, tanks are not emptied yet. I need to do that. Uh, I need to find a place along the way. So that's another thing we're gonna be doing today is finding a place to dump the tanks along the way before we get on the west side of Yellowstone onto National Forest land. It's free. Um, it's definitely hard to find stuff in the national park that's free. Typically they don't allow it. They have signs up saying no parking overnight or no camping. So we are, that's a, that's one of the big reasons why we're headed out of the national park so quickly. Um, but I really need to get to Glacier because I'm kind of running out of time. I need to be in Washington in September. So um, it's already mid-August. <laughs> so I need to get a move on it. I stayed in Colorado for too long. That's all right though, it was all good. Lights are out. So remember when I told you about the van life shuffle and my 10 things I hate about van life? This is the van life shuffle. All my stuff goes on the bed when I'm driving. So then when I go to bed at night, I have to take all of that and put it back up over here on the counter. All right, that's all right though. It's just part of this life. So it doesn't take too long to do it, but I really wish there was a place for all of that. And I just don't have one, which is part of the reason why if I don't get the truck camper and I stay with the van, I'm renovating this van for better usage of a space. All right guys, it's time to go. I will see you on the road. Grand Tetons, here we come. I can't believe that it's been almost 20 years since I've been to Grand Teton National Park. The last time I was here, I was driving through this area when I moved from the Columbus, Ohio area to Seattle, Washington in 2001. And wow, how time flies, yet these majestic mountains are the same standing tall and showing its beautiful glory. I'm always in awe in this life of exploring around every corner. There's always something new, beautiful, and waiting for me to discover. You'll need to pay at the entrance or get an America the Beautiful annual pass, which will save you quite a bit of money if you go to more than one or two national parks in one year. So right now we are actually doing the scenic loop around Jenny Lake going around on the north side because the scenic drive is just so amazing as you can see but um, this is right in front of the Grand Teton Mountains and we're gonna be coming up on Denny Lake here in just a moment I cannot wait it's uh, about 8 45 in the morning now it's so serene and beautiful here this time I decided to head over to Jenny Lake and do some exploring Jenny Lake did not disappoint. She's a beauty sitting right in front of the Teton Mountains and I couldn't have asked for a better day. Guys, what do you think? Ooh, is this not beautiful out here? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. gosh guys there's a lot of road noise over here but is this not incredibly beautiful wow <sighs> still at Grand Teton National Park and I'm so glad I came here early in the morning that's one of the things when you head out to these national parks is to try to get there early so you get much better views, less people, 
and um, once we get into the place, it's a lot better. All right, we're gonna head on now towards Yellowstone. Well, this is the line to get into Yellowstone National Park from the south entrance. And we're just leaving Grand Teton National Park. And um, yeah, there's probably, I don't know, 20 cars maybe in front of me. So hopefully we can get through this quickly. Uh, we'll see. So this is why I like to leave earlier. I should have left earlier. It's 1030 now, but I've stopped along the way. It's okay. We have plenty of time to get through it. Um, it's just the nature of how this is. So thankfully, things are not worse than it actually is. Um, sometimes I've heard that it takes hours sometimes for people to get into these parks. So we're doing pretty good. All right, guys, I will see you on the other side. We are sitting in traffic once again. Um, I think this is to turn left to get um, off of the west entrance or exit. But it's a beautiful view out here. You can see uh, we've got this beautiful river that's over here and uh, couldn't be in a better area to have a traffic jam. would like to not have the traffic jam, but you know, whatever. Gotta make the best of it, right? So it's been a lovely trip through here. I've loved Yellowstone. Um, we're not stopping and seeing a ton of stuff only because I've been through here once before. It is beautiful, but it's super crowded. And my goal is to get to the campsite tonight um, before dark and then start heading up to Glacier National Park because I have to get to Washington. So um, anyways, that's why we're kind of just zipping through here really quickly. It's Friday, by the way, and not a great day to find a camping spot before the weekend. If you'll remember in my last video, I was telling you how it's best to find a campsite on a weekday before all the weekenders arrive. So, fingers crossed, I find a spot over here outside of West Yellowstone. The road coming into this national forest was a bit rough and it was really rutted out. I hope it doesn't rain because getting out of here would be awful and a recipe for disaster with mud and rutted roads. I definitely do not want to get stuck. Well guys, we made it out of West Yellowstone and we are in technically Idaho, not Montana, but we're, we were in Montana and then we were in Idaho and this is where we're staying for the night. This is a, a site I found on Campendium's app. Uh, it's National Forest. But, oh my goodness, look at these views, guys. Just beautiful out here. And my site is one that's all by myself. The road is right there, it's just a small dirt road. And there's a bunch of little sites like this off of the uh, road. Lily, what do you think? Is this a keeper? Is this a keeper? Come on, girl. Lily, come here. Come here. There's a hawk. Ooh, there's a hawk up there. Ooh, sorry, I had to stop for a minute. There is a hawk that just flew into that tree, and Lily's out here. And, uh, yeah. They look like um, Scooby Snacks. Lily does to those hawks, so I have to be really careful. Um, I should have put her on the leash. Usually I, I do, especially around places like this, so... She'll have to wait to come out until I can bring the chairs out and sit over here. Um, but anyway, so on Compendium, the great thing about the app is that um, if you are... So I actually contribute annually to Compendium. I think it's... I want to say it's 20 25 bucks a year. Um, but it's amazing. And uh, with that, if you're a contributor or a supporter of Compendium, you are able to filter um, whether or not the particular site that you're looking at has 
AT&T, Verizon, um, Sprint, or T-Mobile. And so because I'm always on AT&T and Verizon, I wanna make sure that it had service, and it said that it did. The reviews actually said that it was very strong out here, I think like four bars. I just did a speed test, it's like 45 up, 43 down. But I don't think I've seen speeds like that in a really, really long time, especially out here in the National Forest. So uh, whoever put cell towers out here, thank you, I really appreciate it. This is what I was talking about earlier, is it would be so nice to have cell towers out in places like this so we could stay, you know, and still have um, a cell connection and work more. Um, but sometimes it's just difficult with that. So anyways, um, it's only like 12.30 in the afternoon. I got through Yellowstone fairly quickly with uh, everything going on, all the traffic and everything, but um, it's all good. We had a good time. Got out to hike just a little bit and see the sights and then move on. So, all right. So I actually need to get to work. It's technically a work day for me because it is still Friday. And uh, see what's up on there. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave you here for now. I'll come back out a little bit later. Okay.